let's say you are in a flight and an air hostess comes to you and asks which do you prefer tea or coffee and you say either which means that tea and coffee are substitutes for you given the choice between a cup of a tea or a cup of a coffee you will be indifferent so let's write it like this that x tea and x coffee so if i give you one unit of tea and zero coffee you will be happy or zero cup of tea and one cup of coffee again happy which means that they are kind of summing up to one and it does not matter which one is one and which one is zero right so for substitutes i can say u of x1 x2 when we are talking about substitutes is equal to x1 plus x2 now over here we have taken a specific situation when a cup of a tea and a cup of a coffee are in the ratio 1 is to 1 what about i have a different kind of a ratio but still i have some kind of a substitution idea behind the two goods so in that case i can modify this utility function to accommodate a different kind of ratio and i can write it as a x1 plus b x2 so these are the two utility functions which can be used to represent substitutes and using the abbreviation subs you would automatically understand for substitutes and let's say we also need to plot it pardon my bad handwriting or bad drawing it's just okay let's take this example first x1 plus x2 let me assume that this is some 10 it means this is a straight line right and the intercept over here is 10 so this is your 10 this is your 10 just draw a line and if you increase from 10 to 12 it will go up if you increase or rather decrease it from 10 to 9 or 7 or 6 it will go down so if you move in this direction your, your utility will definitely increase because you will have more cup of tea or coffee or more cup of good one and good two or more units of good one and good two and if you go down your utility will decrease you can check that the slope of this line will be minus one because the ratio here is one is to one now let's look at the diagram for a x1 plus b x2 case let's take some numbers for this a and b guy right let's take example that a is two and b is three so 2x1 plus 3x2 and let us suppose i have taken an example when 2x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 6 i can rewrite this as x1 by 6 by 2 which is 3 plus x2 by 6 by 3 which is 2 which is equal to 1 so again this is a straight line with 3 and 2 as intercepts so i can write this as 3 and this as 2 and here you go you have a utility function and I can label this as 6 utility for this will be 6 and if I have to increase my utility obviously I'll have to go up and decrease go down so you understand here right in this direction it increases in this direction it decreases what is the slope how will you check that out if you go down by 2 you have to go right by 3 which means the slope here is minus 2 upon 3 and if I just generalize this this will be equal to minus a upon b and it also makes perfect sense because if I just change the form of this line equation into y is equal to mx plus c you will have x2 is equal to minus 2 by 3 x1 plus 2 and if you take a and b you will have minus a by b as the slope for substitutes you can't make a cup of tea without sugar and milk so if i have to make you a tea or offer you a tea or serve you a tea then i will definitely have to combine sugar milk tea powder or whatever the case may be tea bags maybe so x milk and x sugar 
and I'm assuming that you have your uh, tea bags or tea pouches, whatever may the case. Without combination of milk and sugar, you will not have your cup of tea. So let's say you take uh, one cup of milk and one teaspoon of sugar. Now, if I do not give you both, you cannot make the tea. So let's say I give you zero cups of milk and one spoon of sugar you cannot make tea. Now let's reverse this one zero. Again, you cannot make tea. What about I give you one cup of milk and one spoon of sugar? Definitely you can make a cup of tea. What about I give you two cups of milk and one cup of sugar? Again, you can only make one cup of tea. One extra cup of milk will be wasted. Similarly, if I give you one cup of milk and two spoons of sugar, again, you can only make one cup of tea. One extra spoon of sugar will be wasted. Now, if I try to combine this, this and this in a functional form, I can say that utility for complements, I'm just writing comp, just understand this is complements. Utility for this can be safely written as minimum of x1 and x2. Why so? Because you see minimum of 1 and 2 is 1, you have 1 cup of tea. Minimum of 2 and 1, again 1, 1 cup of tea. Minimum of 1 and 1, 1 cup of tea. 0 and 1, 0. 1 and 0, 0. So this is the utility function for complements. And again, I'm assuming a 1 is to 1 ratio. Let's say I have different kind of a ratio. Then I will need to modify this to minimum of Ax1, Bx2. Similar to what we did for the case of your substitutes. So we can completely analyze whatever we have to do with this case and we can generalize it to this whenever the need may be. Now let's draw this. How will this look, this utility function? Let's say I have given you one unit of x1 and one unit of x2. If I keep on increasing x2, will your utility change? No, because the minimum function will not change. Minimum will always be one. So on this line, I mean this line which goes from 1, 1, this let me label it 1, 1, upwards, utility will not change because minimum will not change. And again, if I go in this horizontal direction, again, the minimum will not change. It will still be 1. So this is one indifference curve when the utility will be minimum of 1, 1, which will be 1. So I can label this guy as 1. And let's say I want to increase the utility. What will I do? I'll move to 2, 3, maybe something else and then just draw something like this and if I have to decrease it just go below and draw something like this so in this direction your utility will rise and in this direction your utility will fall and yes you can draw a similar kind of a diagram if I change this x1 x2 to a x1 and b x2 again now the point 1 1 will change it will reflect this a b ratio that is for you as a homework what will be the shape or rather uh, the graph of a utility when the function is minimum of ax1 and bx2.